All right. Listen, I have to apologize. I think I'm at 50 emails now complaining that I haven't put out a five minutes to save you 50 on Friday. So I thought I'd do another one. I'll try to get back to these because honestly, the responses have been terrific. Uh, there's just not enough time in the day or the week to always get to this. So we're on a new episode now and I'm actually going to show you this thing I call the color picker. If you're familiar with graphic programs, you know about this. It looks like a little eyedropper tool. If you're not familiar with it, uh, this little tip is going to make you a pro and make your stuff look even more professional. So here's a presentation I put together. I actually took the first debate between Clinton and Trump and I ran it through the Watson Tone Analyzer. Uh, which is freely available for everyone to use. And this is the scoring that it gave me. Um, and what the color picker will do will allow me, if you ever go to add text, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Let's say I wanted uh, Clinton versus Trump Watson tone analyzer. Do you know when you kind of go and you want to change the color and then you, you try to match it to this color and, well, is that the right color? You know, I'm not sure. It looks pretty close. Or you can kind of go into the colors and in more color here, I can go and play around with this and try to figure out the color. So just to make stuff look more professional. You see this thing right here? That's called the eyedropper tool. And when you click the eyedropper tool, you can see that it is zooming in on whatever color I want. And whatever color I pick is what's gonna go into the palette. So let's say I actually like this teal. I could go here, click okay, and then I just matched that color. And now, if I was to undo that, you can see that that color is in the palette under recent colors. So that's a great way to get consistency and it works in all kinds of places, right? Like if I wanted to go and create an object, maybe and I wanted that fill to be different, then I might go and use the more fill colors and once again, I can get the eyedropper tool and I can go and pick up this uh, Donald Trump brown and then I would get that. So really powerful mechanism. Now, I think it gets even more powerful. So let's say I wanted to go and put some text in here and I said, uh, uh, Hillary is analytical in nature and appeals to those voters. Okay, fine. That's something that I've noticed. I'll maybe just get this to fit in here, center it, bold it. That's good. Now, let's say I wanted to go and capture that from an image. So I'm going to shoot this over here. Let's see if I go find an image here and uh, jump up into Google here. I'm going to go to uh, Hillary Clinton pantsuit. Oh, there we go. So we got a number of hits here. I had a number of hits here. I'm gonna go in here and go into some images. She's got a lot of different kinds of pantsuits for sure. So let me dive in here. That's a little blurry, so let me go get another image here and visit the page. So that's gonna load up here. Maybe I need a faster internet connection. Okay, here we go. So now let's say I wanted to go and grab one of Hillary's pantsuits. And so in here, I could do the same thing and I'm going to go here and uh, of course you can access this through the pop-up menus as well, right? Uh, when you go to font and color, but so this is really cool, right? I can whip across here and say, oh, Hillary pantsuit orange is what I'm looking for and pick up that color. And in the same manner, if I can go outside the app, I can surely go in the app so I could walk around and, you know, leverage over anywhere. So it, it just grabs it anywhere. It's actually an exit out of the application. Um, so let's say I uh, put in a picture, I think I had one of Donald Trump, right? So now here's the Donald in the corner and maybe I wanted, you know, Hillary's text to kind of match Donald Trump's golden hair. And so in here I can walk in here and I get this uh, pinkish hue uh, and, and there we go. So you guys get the point. This will be used anywhere you can select colors. So just to finish off, you can see I can use any of these variations of the Donald uh, coloring uh, automatically, which is cool uh, using this color piece. But if I go into more variations, once again, I can go and select more colors and maybe try to see what a red uh, change would do and I pick up that red tinge. So just a kind of a cool tool, very simple to use. And I hope that this five minute tip 
saves you 50. 